Hello and welcome back to our tutorial. Have you ever do something in real life and start thinking that? This action is so repetitive. Maybe if I can find a way to automate it. In programming, there's a lot of steps that are repetitive as well. You may sometimes feel that, ah, I just have to copy paste all of this. But in programming, we don't do that because we'll be doing something called loop. Okay, so today we'll be looking at how do we repeat something for certain amount of times or basically basic loop. So after starting our new exercise, we can start calling it exercise 4.1. Okay, so to do loop, we'll need to do some program so we'll need Arduino board and a brick board. Okay, you can do it similarly by connecting the negative over here and then align it that way so that the negative line is at the very end so it won't really obstruct anything. And then after that you can connect the positive line which is the 5 volts directly as well. So in this example we'll be going through a way that can help us automate certain process or basically repeat something numerous times. I want it I want to do it this way. What if you wanted to make an alarm that after you press it will light up the red LED and then make some noise. Okay? Let's start with making our push button and our pairing pull up resistor. Okay, after connect the resistor, let's connect the ground and then the push button and the power source. Okay, we need something to read from this button, we can connect to for example number 9. And then after that we'll need a resistor, which is 200 ohm for the LED and then the LED itself. Okay, LED need to connect to certain signal as well, we can use for example number 5 and the ground for the LED as well. Then the last bit is the sound part. Okay, so we'll need to take a piezo buzzer and a resistor of 100 ohm. Okay, this is the positive bit. So positive bit will be connected to the signal. Let's say number 2 is, could be one of it. Okay, you can change the wire to any color you like and then connect the ground. Now we will be up to the coding part. So both the LED and the speaker are ready for coding and then the button is ready as well. So this time we will be using quite a few things. The very first one is that we need a control and the if. Okay, you can use if or if else but I will be putting weight inside the code. So I will only need if. And then I will need the comparison because I need to read the value of the button, make it into equal one, then go to the input and put in the read digital pin. Because we will be using pin 9, so change the number to number 9. Okay, after that, we'll need to make the LED lights up and the speaker making noise by using output. So go to output, set pin, LED, um, we do, do not want to put it here. Okay, pin is number 5, so set pin 5 to height and then play speaker, speaker is at number 2. Okay, I will, I will keep tone 60, I'll make the duration 0 0.5. Okay, you can put 0.5 or 0 0.5. Then after that, put in weight 0.5 as well. So it will make the sound for half a second with the LED bright up. And then after that, you need to turn off the LED manually. Okay, so you need pin number 5 to low. And then after that, you will need to wait a short second before running to the next code. If you put that in, okay, you can now start simulate. Before start simulate, let me change my sound. You realize that when I press the button, it will only play once and then the LED light up only once. If this is the emergency system, you'll have a hard time because you have to keep pressing it to make noise long enough so that someone notice. 
you can actually change the noise to directly um the sound directly to longer sound and then set the LED height um height longer. But usually we don't do that because we want alarm to draw attention, so we'll have a continuous train of sound. Okay, instead of a long voice, we'll have like the sound repeating every um like every few seconds or every half a second, which I said over here. So we'll go into the very first thing, the topic of today, the repeat n times part. Okay, by using this one, we can directly repeat the action instead of copy paste this thing, duplicate this thing five times or ten times. Okay, all I need to do is copy everything in. Sorry, I mean move everything in and change it to, for example, repeat five times. Now, once I press the button, it will sound the alarm five times before it stops. Okay, let's try that. can see using this way we'll be able to actually repeat certain action for any amount of time that we define so you can change this number to any number you want when you are using this one for any of your project so you don't have to always duplicate the code if they are the exact same content when you are doing music because every tone is different so you can't really use repeat because you will have different tone but for the case where everything will be the same, like for example this one, the tone will be the same, then you can straight away use the repeat. Okay, so today conclusion. We can use repeat n times block from the control section to repeat the action for n amount of time if you want. That's all for today. I'll see you in our next video. Thank you.